Welcome to Health Coach for Women. Intentional living for more happiness and fulfillment in your everyday life with your host, Marsha Rupchand Walker. Join Marsha as she shares her own personal wellness journey, as well as stories from our guests that will enlighten and inspire you to move towards better health and happiness. Now, here's your host, Marsha Rupchand Walker. Thank you for joining me on another episode of Health Coach for Women. Today, I'd like to talk to you about living your best life. And I'd like to say that because simply, you know, so many of us right now, uh, we're walking around still in fear, still concerned. And, and, And I say this in no way of being disrespectful. I'm just saying this because this is you know, our common concerns, right? We're still, we're, are, we're concerned about what's going on with our economy, right? If you're here in the U.S., we're concerned about our, con- our economy. We're concerned about uh, our livelihood, our finances. We're concerned about, even more importantly than that, is our health, right? We're so concerned about these things because we're still dealing um, with the pandemic and, you know, and, and now uh, soon that the uh mass mandate will be lifted in some states or whatever that uh, I think it's oh boy did I forget is it June or is it by June I forgot the date so pardon me on that I did forget the date I can't remember if it's June 1st or June something I'm not sure what well whenever the it's supposed to be lifted about the whole wearing the mask thing some people are still concerned and they want to wear their mask some people are not and they feel safe that once they're vaccinated um they believe that they can no longer catch the virus I'm really not sure on the information that they were taught uh and educated on on that but anyway I don't want to get into that topic Right, I don't want to get into that topic. Whatever someone chooses to do, it's it's their choice. Whether you get vaccinated, if you choose to wear a mask, uh, if you choose to, because you choose to wear a mask because you're not vaccinated, or if you choose not to wear a mask because you have been vaccinated, that's a personal choice. My topic today is on living your best life now. All right, and so we have all these concerns and things that we are worried about. Um, that it tends to take away those things from us trying to live our best life. So we can't stay focused on those things that's hindering us from living our best life, if you understand what I'm saying. So simply meaning that live your best life, of course, be cautious, of course, be uh, um aware and, and be mindful of things, right? Be mindful of of people in places of where you're going, but don't lose focus on living, right? Don't lose focus on living your life. And it's about living your life, doing the best that you can every day to be a better, healthier you, right? And, and building stronger bonds and relationships with family, friends, whatever, building those bonds. We want to be able to do these things. We want to be able to uh, have more freedom, right? And so we all want more freedom where we can go and travel and do things and, you know, uh, be able to just go out and do the things getting back to normal, right? Right? We want to do those things. We also want to be cautious while doing these things. So if you're traveling, uh, taking the plane and and the requirements are that you, because, you know, taking the plane, you are sitting close to someone. There's no, I don't know how they're doing it. I haven't been on the plane in a while. So I don't know how they're doing it on the plane. Uh, If they having you sit six feet uh, apart, I don't know. But let's just say if you're on the plane and you have to uh, sit closely to someone less than six feet, if you feel you need to wear a mask, it's better for you or it's better and it's better for them. Yes, wear, go ahead, wear your mask. 
Well, let's say, okay, they ended the mandate. You don't have to wear the mask. And now this surge increase of the pandemic happened again, right? That's the worst case scenario, right? So if that were to happen, um, and, and now it's been extended even longer, how are you going to deal with this situation of it being extended even longer? How are you going to be able to adapt uh, to this new normal, right? And so we've learned to adapt to wearing the mask and all of that and the six feet distancing and all of that good stuff. But you want to get back to things of how they were, right? That may or may not happen. And we have to be realistic with ourselves. And in, and in the midst of all of that, still find a way to find that joy, find that peace um, within yourself, right? Still finding that joy and peace and still being able to do the things that you enjoy doing. What I'm saying is don't stop living. Don't stop living. Don't stop doing the things that you enjoy doing because all you're doing is suffocating yourself. You know, all you do, me, if anyone knows me, knows that I love to travel. You know, when I was single, I would go on trips you know, by myself, not, you know, out of the country, um, but simple road trips going to another state and things like that. I did what I wanted to do, you know, and at the time I did it, I enjoyed doing it, you know, even if it was meant me going by myself or maybe taking my son with me and, you know, and my pet at the time. So if it meant doing those things and doing it alone, I did it because I couldn't sit around waiting on when friends had the time off or if they, if they didn't feel like going or if they didn't want to go, I'm going to go out and do what I want to do, you know, and that's always been me. If I want to do something, I'm going to do something. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Right. And, and I'm saying and I'm saying this in, in a sense of as it relates to traveling and doing things that that makes me feel alive and and makes me feel happy, right? And so those are some of the things that I like to do. I like to sit out in the backyard, enjoy nature, enjoy watching the deers when they come in the backyard, or all the squirrels or the rabbits and whatever else, uh, the little groundhogs, right? So I enjoy sitting out in the backyard. I enjoy watching those things. You know, I enjoy, when, it's, when it's really nice, I enjoy uh, putting flowers out in front of the house, you know, decorating the home. I enjoy those things. So the things that you enjoy, continue to do those things, right? And it's not about having a lot of money. It's not about money, right? It's about doing the simple things that you enjoy, right? Doing the things that you, of that brings you that fulfillment. And so you may not be able to travel overseas or you may not be able, and, and, and hey, maybe traveling is not even your thing. Maybe you, you're you afraid of um, heights or you're afraid of flying. Whatever that thing is, um, hopefully I'm hoping that you could o- overcome that, but whatever that thing is um, that you enjoy, do those things. Do what you enjoy doing. And, and because, like I said, none of us is promised tomorrow. Right. None of us is promised tomorrow. And with that being said, it's like you can't stay stuck in a box. You can't stay stuck at home, you know, not going out anywhere. Now, of course, if you have some underlying health conditions, right, you, you're taking safety precautions for yourself. And by all means, yes, you should do that. Right. You have to, you know, protect yourself if you have these health issues and you don't want to go out. Um, because of the concerns of maybe contracting something. By all means, your health comes first, right? And so only you know your health status and, and what you need to do for yourself to keep yourself safe, right, when it comes to your health. But for the most part, I'm speaking um, to those who uh, just feel maybe stuck like, oh, you know, I can't do anything. I can't go out. Um, you know, I, we, we can't do the things that we did before. 
you know, yeah, you can still do those things. Maybe it just may have to be a little differently, right? It may have to be a little differently, and that's okay. It, it may, it's okay that there may be some slight modifications in in doing the things the way you used to do it. You know, um, I've been starting to go out uh, more, and then you know, if you follow me on my Instagram, you know, I took a trip to Tennessee, and um, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. And then pretty much, uh, you know, the uh, the young man at the restaurant restaurant said um, basically who knew all, who all the tourists were because they all had on masks. Well, they already, already lifted their mask uh, criteria uh, before we came out there. So the only people you saw basically wearing masks were the tourists, right? So I say this just to say, you know, living doing the things that you want to do, being able to find that joy, that happiness, that fulfillment. It doesn't come from you just being stuck in fear. It doesn't come from you continuing to remain in a box. Uh, To feel alive and do the things you need to do, you you have to somehow have that outlet, right? You know, you got to have that outlet, that thing that you enjoy doing, whether it's gardening, whether it's... uh, making things, maybe you like to work with your hands, so you do pottery or art, whatever it is that you enjoy doing, continue to do those things, right? Continue to do those things. That's that's what living your best life is. Living your best life now is not about the amount of money you have, right? Let me just make that clear. It's not about the amount of money that you have or the things that you have, right? So it's not about the the, the cars um, and the homes, the houses you have, or the amount of bags and shoes. None of that matters. That's not what I'm talking about. And I mean, and if that's your thing, you love to shop, nothing wrong with that, right? It's, it's fine to shop, right? It's fine to, you know, acquire those things if that's what you like and that's what you're in, into. Nothing wrong with that, right? So, but what I'm saying is, is to not stay stuck and 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 uh, stay stuck in a box where you can't really express yourself and enjoy yourself and enjoy your life, right? And enjoy uh, being in the presence of others, being with your family and things like that, doing the things that you enjoy. We have to find a way to have that balance, that harmony, so to speak, where we can do the things that you enjoy. Now, even if you work a job, right? Even if you are doing a nine to five, you know, whatever your schedule are and you work a job, you have to still find a way to have that time for you. We can't always make the excuse of saying, oh, well, I don't have any time because I work so much. Well, try not working so much, you know? And, you know, I say that because you no know one is promised tomorrow and, I'd rather a person do what they love doing, finding that passion and living that best life, living their lives, just being happy than than going to work every day and being unhappy, unfulfilled, and just making a hundred excuses as to why um, they can't live their best life. Like I said, it's not about the amount of money or things, material things that you have. Because we all know uh, that money, and, and not that money is a bad thing. I'm not saying money is a bad thing. Money is only a tool that we use to help us acquire the things that we need or that we want. So what I mean is, uh, is nothing wrong with having those things, but it's finding it's finding that right spot for you where you, where you are enjoying, you, you're setting up this plan, right? Or I should say plan or goal or how you want to live your life, right? You Okay, you say, okay, I work 40 hours a week. You know, when do I fit in the time that I need just for me? Well, only you know that. Only you know the answer to that because you know your schedule, right? And you know when you work. So you just have to find a way to fit it in. You have to find a way to fit it in and make it work, right? And, you know, I'm still in healthcare and I work still, 
And and I find a way. And the good thing for me is I work with an agency, so I have the freedom to set my schedule. So I can still do the things that I enjoy doing, right? I can still do those things that I enjoy doing. And, and so I make it a priority to do the things that I need for me and my life, right? And and that fits with my lifestyle and what I'm doing and what I'm trying to accomplish and and fit in with, with my family to meet my, my needs for my family. So this is what I'm saying. We can't always make excuses, right? We can't always make excuses about not having enough time. You know, not having enough time to do the things with, or, or blaming it on COVID. Oh, I can't do this because of COVID. Or, uh, you know, I can't do this because of that. Sure you can. Sure you can. You can, you can still do the things that you enjoy. You know, you can still do the things that you enjoy. And if your thing is traveling abroad and things like that, well, you may not be able to do it right now, depending on where you're going, right? Because all of that is important, depending on where you're going. Um, you can still find ways to do the things that you enjoy, right? And a lot of things are beginning to open back up. As far as I've been told, um, in New York, you have to make reservations pretty much for everything or whatever, but I'm, I'm not too sure, but that's what I've been told. Um, and so if that's what it's required for you to go out and, and, and live life now, live life now, right? Live life, live your best life now. Do it and do it fearlessly, right? Do it sensibly, but do it fearlessly. Be mindful of what you're doing, right? And when I say be mindful, let's be mindful, be more aware, conscious. We always want to think safety, right? And so you still uh, have safety measures in place on, on certain things, on what you're doing and how you're going to do it and who you're going to be around. We, we still always have to be mindful, Right, we still always have to be like I, I talked about my experience in the park. We still have to be mindful, right? And so I'm not going to go off off onto uh, a different path at a certain time, right? By myself, right? Because I know there are people out there who you know have issues, and they are people who want to do things to either frighten you or have their own little. Things going on, sick, perverted things going on in their, in their mind, right? So we have to do the things that we need to do for ourselves to keep ourselves, keep ourselves going. And it's not just going to work every day. It's not just going to work every day. You know, your life is, is more meaningful than that, right? We all need to... Uh, Take care of ourselves, right? And I've mentioned this before. This is no surprise. I'm not saying anything different that I've said before, but I'm reiterating it um, so it can, it can really sink in. So many people are not living their best lives because they're so worried about other things. And, and it may not even be COVID. It could be other things, right? It could be other things. You know, worrying about your finances, worrying about not having enough, Operating from a place of scarcity, right? Operating from this place of lack. And so when you focus on those things, you will tend to attract more of that. You will attract more of that into your life, right? So you don't focus on the lack. You focus on the abundance of the things that you do have. And if you have, and if you have a roof over your head right now, and if you have a, a source of income coming in, in right now, you have a whole lot more than what others may have at this point, right? And we have to learn to really be grateful. We have to learn to be appreciative of the things that we have. Right. And so if you haven't learned that by now, and for those who may have lost their jobs, right, this whole thing should 
have taught you a lesson if you were unappreciative before to be more appreciative. So when I say all of this, it is, it's not to scold or shame anyone. It's, it's just, I'm just being realistic, right? I'm just being realistic that, you know, we have to learn to be appreciative and grateful for the things we already have and, and start by appreciating those things and being grateful. And you'll find and see the goodness and the, and the abundance in those things alone, right? And being able to connect and reach out and call our family, you know, reach out and speak to our children, our mom, our parents, whatever. We're able to do those things. That's a blessing in itself. And you can live your best life now with no money, <laughs> No money. It doesn't require money because it's all in the mind. It's all in the mind. It's your perception. It's your perception. So how you see the world reflects your uh, reality. It's what creates your reality. So I want you to just remember that. And I'm hoping that you will take from this program, uh, take for, it's just to be able to just live with more intention, live with more joy, live with more zest and vitality, you know, just being happy, put, uh, putting a smile on your face, uh, which, which is contagious, you know, will bring a smile to someone else, to, to someone else's face, you know, be that beacon of light to someone else, be that beacon of light. Don't walk around um, being upset with the world or being upset because things aren't the way that you want them to go, right? Remember, your situation is only temporary right now. Your situation is only temporary. And so it's just learning how to adapt and to tweak things a little bit. That's all. That's all you have to do. You have to just learn to adapt and to if you got to make few modifications and adjustments here and there, then you do that. Because life is not just about existing, right? We're not here to just exist and breathe, right? Although breathing is a wonderful thing. <laughs> so we're here for something more. We're here for something different, right? We're here for something greater than that greater um, than you and I, right? And I don't want to get too deep right now because that's another topic. Maybe that's something I'll talk about next week. I don't know. But it's just about finding that joy, you know, finding that sweet spot for you to, you can live your best life now. People think, oh, I, got, I have to have the perfect job. Oh, I have to have the right income in order for me to do this. Oh, I got to have the right, I don't know pair of shoes to go here. No, you don't. You just have to want to do it. You just have to want to do it and want to experience it so that you can get that reward and feeling that reward of happiness. And of course, happiness, of course, does not come from external things. Yes, it's something that may make us feel good if we get this new car or we buy this new home, right? It's that temporary uh, feeling that we get. We feel so happy. We're excited about, you know, these new things that we've purchased. I'm talking about that feeling of feeling of that joy, of that inner peace that you get. And it's when you can become content and happy with who you are. Being happy and content with who you are is the best way that you can live your best life. And I, and I think that's it. That's the best way. If you can be content with who you are, right? And the things that we need to improve, we work on those things of improvement that we need to do for ourselves. Self-improvement. It's not about being perfect. It's about just being better than you were than the day before. So that's all I have for you today, my friends. I'm just going to keep it simple. And I hope you've benefited somehow, some way. Um, I'm so appreciative 
to all of you who do listen. And if you haven't subscribed to me on YouTube yet, please feel free to go ahead and subscribe. Now, just an FYI, I am looking forward to going over to video, but it will be later on. I don't have a date yet, but I'm looking to do the videos where um, my podcast, where I have actually videos. And I'm, now that I think about it, maybe going live would be kind of interesting, but we'll see where it goes. We'll see where it goes. I won't say anything for now. But that is all I have for you today, my friends. I thank you so much for your support. I thank you for listening in. I thank you for your feedback. I thank you for your DMs. I thank you for every single thing, every, all the comments, all the support. I appreciate it so much. Thank you and bye for now. Thank you so much for listening to Health Coach for Women with your host, Marsha Rupchand Walker. If you've enjoyed this podcast, please be sure to rate, subscribe, and review on your preferred podcast listening platform. We really appreciate that effort. Until next time.